Hi friends, welcome to UGC Net online pre coaching. Already I have discussed June 2005 question number 1 to 20, 30. Today we will see uh, lecture number 4, uh, th question number 31 to 40. Let's start. In June 2005, question number 31 is which of the statement related to compiler is wrong? Means before looking look at the options, you should know the what are the key features, what are the characteristics of compiler design. We'll see first one. Lexical analysis is breaking the input into tokens. Yes, definitely it is a characteristic of compiler design, compiler, sorry. Syntax analysis is for parsing the phrase. Yes, it is also a one of the characteristic of compiler. So, we look at the third one. Syntax analysis is for analyzing the semantic. Actually, there is a confusion. Syntax analysis is for analyzing the semantic. Definitely, it is wrong because semantic analysis is for analyzing the syntax. It's not syntax analysis is is analyzing the semantic. So, definitely, wrong statement is C. So, option is C. It's a straightforward question. So, syntax analysis is is for analyzing the semantic. It's a wrong statement related to compiler. We will go for 32 question. Which of the following is the most general page structured grammar? You know already types of grammars. Type 0 is an un unstructured grammar. Type 1 is a context sensitive grammar. Type 2 context free grammar and type 3 regular grammar actually. Here question is, which of the following is most general page structured grammar? Actually, this question is asked frequently in previous question papers. It's very important question. First of all, we will see what is page structured. Page structure rules are a type of rewrite rule used to describe a given language syntax and are and are closely associated with the early stage of transformational grammar means what phrase structure rule used to rewrite rule used to describe a given language syntax means this phrase structure used to describe a syntax of the language and are closely associated associated with the early stages of a transformational grammar Early stage is unstructured grammar that is type 0 grammar, but here closely related is context sensitive grammar because it is a type 1 grammar. Type, one, type 0 is unstructured, there is no structure, there is no rule. Closely related is context sensitive grammar because this is type 1 grammar. Type 2 is context free, type 3 is regular. So, the, this question answer is obviously B. Context sensitive grammar is most general um, pay structured grammar. I hope you understood this question. It's very important question. Just uh, you should know the what are the types of uh, grammars and what are what is the syntax uh, because definitely one question every year uh, based on this. So be careful. We will move on to the 33 question number 33 which activity is not included in the first pass of two pass assembler already i have explained in detail in question number 31 2004 same question same options asked in uh, december 2004 31st question in same question I repeated uh, june 2005 33 questions so i will not take any um, time for this one just if you if you not watched our first uh, series, uh, December 2004 series, just go through it. In third lecture series, you will get a first question. Just go through it. I, I have explained in detail 
regarding this question we'll go for so option is b actually construct the machine code it is not the um rule of a first pass of two pass assembler okay move on to the 34th question the dynamic binding occurs during actually two types of binding one is static binding another one is dynamic binding so first of all we'll see what is static binding a binding is static if it is, if it occurs before run time and remains unchanged throughout program execution means static binding uh, binding is occurs at compiled time and remains unchanged throughout the program execution so static binding now we'll see the definition of dynamic binding a binding is dynamic if it occurs during execution or can change during execution of the program means what dynamic binding occurs at run time and it can change anywhere in the uh, while running the program so that is the meaning now look at the question the dynamic binding occurs during obviously it is a run time compile time static binding it may ask next time it may be uh, the static binding occurs during it may be question in future static binding is compile time dynamic binding is run time i hope uh, it's a uh, straightforward very easy question uh, like this question every time you'll get uh, 10 questions nearly uh, so you can answer this type of question in uh, 10 to 15 seconds it's very easy question i will look at the next question symbol table can be used for actually uh, related to uh, first pass and two pass assembler related to symbol table and all i have explained in detail in previous sessions uh, in uh, june 2000 uh, sorry december 2004 but uh, 35th question is symbol table can be used It means what is the use of symbol table actually use of symbol table uh, first option check it checking type compa compatibility yes it is true suppressing duplication of error messages maybe uh, let us assume you have uh, some confusion leave it go, go for the third one storage allocation definitely storage allocation is the part of symbol table and you know the one more option is checking type compa compatibility so means what uh, a and c is your answer definitely you need to select d means one more you got one more characteristic surprise uh, surprising duplication of error that is also one of the characteristic of symbol table so the option is d so very simple option is d means you know already let us assume you know the uh, characteristic of symbol table is checking type compatibility one more is storage allocation these two are the main characteristic of symbol table and if these two options definitely one more because there is option all of these so option is d next moving process from main memory to disk is called for looking the option looking the question only you can select the directly swapping because sometime what exactly happening in memory in computer actually primary memory let us assume only 10 kb is free but you are running the pro, uh, process 20 kb but there is no memory to allocate 20 kb in that situation computer allows part of the program means portion of the pro, uh, process loads your primary memory and remaining por portion if it is necessary it is swapped means unnecessary process in may primary memory and uh, swap out into the main memory means the primary memory and swap in into the uh, now which process is which part of the uh, software is required to run that will swap in to the memory actually this is the diagrammatically uh, this is operating system this is user space if it is busy portion of unused program is swap out and now you need to execute process to then swap in this is called swapping this is uh, moving process from main memory to disk is called swapping direct it's very simple while uh, looking at the question you can answer directly swapping 
Now look at uh, exactly what is swapping. The replace phases are segments of a data in memory. Swapping is useful technique that enables a computer to execute programs and implement data files larger than main memory. Means uh, actually available space is 10 KB, but your your file is 20 KB. In that situation, the operating system copies as much data as possible into the main memory and leaves the rest on the disk. When the operating system needs data from the disk, it exchange a portion of data means called phase or segment exchange. Then in main memory with a portion of data on the disk. Okay, means when it is necessary, it is loads process. If it is unused process, swap out. Okay, this is called swapping. So option is C. Next question is the principle of locality of reference justifies the use of actually what is principal locality first we'll see locality is simply one type of predictable behavior that occurs in computer system this is locality means some type of uh, uh, behavior occurs in computer system systems that exhibit strong locality of reference are great candidates for performance optimization through the use of techniques such as catch means this we need to handle this type of situation, this type of behavior. We need to use local of reference or great candidate for performance optimization. Uh, to in this situation to handle, we are using technique is called catch and instruction fetching technology for memory or the advanced branch predictor at the pipelining of process actually it is a catch memory it is a small memory it is um, it is in between primary and secondary memory uh, sometime it is if you want to execute faster use catch memory so this type of locality is a simple one type of predictable behavior that occurs in computer in this situation using catch memory will come out so the principal locality reference justifies the use of cache memory it's not a virtual memory interrupts and secondary memory so direct question the the principle of locality of reference justifies the use of cache memory so option is c next banker's algorithm is is for it's a straightforward simple question actually banker's algorithm is for deadlock avoidance um this one is designed a uh, famous mathematician, uh, Desistras, at Sir Desistras, his uh, famous algorithm is single source shortest path. He has designed uh, one algorithm, single source shortest path algorithm. Uh, this banker's algorithm used for deadlock avoidance. Actually, now look at what is exactly bank. Banker's algorithm is a resource allocation and deadlock avoidance algorithm developed by uh, at Sir Desistras. That test for safety by simulating the allocation of predetermined maximum possible amounts of all resources then makes an yes state. Check to test for possible deadlock conditions for, for all other pending activities before deciding whether allocation should be allowed to continue or not. Means before allocating it will check all the activities. Um, running state means uh, it, it should not occur deadlock condition that's why to avoid the deadlock condition use banker's algorithm because it's a very nice and famous algorithm single source or test path algorithm he has designed uh, at sir disastrous he's a famous mathematician so uh, this one asked two to three times um, in previous so Banker's algorithm used for deadlock avoidance. It's not preventance, detection, and creation. So um, be careful uh, in examination. You may get confusion. Uh, so um, you should be perfect. Banker's algorithm used for deadlock avoidance. Okay, option is B. Look at uh, 29th question. Which is the correct definition of a valid process transition 
in an operating system this one asked in gate uh, three to four times it's very frequently asked the question in gate and also net uh, this is directly actually in process transition it is initially it is in block state then it is ready and run it's not wake up and dispatch uh, because the ready running is uh, common for all the three options without confusion it is only first option is block block ready and running state so option is c so a direct question uh, which uh, which is the correct definition for valid process transition in an operating system block ready running state this is the uh, valid next 40th question which of the following is not an unix command okay you know what are uh, actually there are plenty of unix commands but you should know at least which is not an unix command so first of all who i am this is the unix command used for uh, checking for user who is logged in this is who am i this command is used to checking for user who is logged in if you type this one in a uh, terminator you will get uh, oh, what are the users who are the logged in your system you will came to know wc this is also a unix command it is used for word count means counting number of words in the file using wc unix command so it is also a unix command ls is used for listing the files means ls command unix command used to list the files so uh, obviously next one is put it is not an unix command so it is not exist what is your question now which of the following is not an unix command obviously i have explained first three commands are unix commands only put is not a unix command so you got a uh, option is d okay so i have explained uh, today june 2005 question number 31 to 40 i hope uh, you enjoyed my class uh, if you have any queries uh, any clarification any doubts just uh, reach out me thank you for watching